everything you need to know about creatine. Yo, welcome back from spring break. Let's chat a little bit in the classroom about Creatine seems to be a huge topic of discussion lately on Facebook and YouTube, and I've been getting a ton of messages, so I'm going to try and clear a couple of things up with some basic knowledge. I'm not going to get too scientific on your ass. <laughs> uh, it is the most studied and researched supplement out there, so if you'd like after this video, go ahead and do some independent research. You will probably find the answer you're looking for. Anyway, we're going to try and keep it basic here. Creatine is derived from amino acids. It's naturally produced in the body and it's synthesized in your liver and your kidneys and your pancreas a little bit. It's stored primarily in your skeletal muscle and the main, um, what creatine does is increases ATP within your muscle. To sum it up, it gets you stronger. It helps you get that one more rep. That's putting it basic. Uh, creatine is found in red meats, so if you eat steak and whatnot, you're getting creatine. But if you're looking for the more positive benefits of it, you can supplement with it. It's 100% safe. And now let's go into types of creatine to take. There are a billion out there. There's ethyl ester, there's phosphate, there's citrate, there's crealkaline. There is a lot of bullshit out there because supplement companies want your money. So. What type should you take? Well, I recommend, and research recommends, that the most beneficial type of creatine is your cheapest creatine monohydrate. Go for a Crea Pure micronized creatine. It is dirt cheap and it's effective. You don't need to spend a lot of money on creatine. You can get Optimum Nutrition's creatine uh, for maybe $40 for 2,000 grams. So that's going to take us into the dosage. How many grams should you take a day? Research shows around three to five grams a day is safe. Every day you could take it. You don't have to cycle it and stuff. I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but three to five grams a day. Uh, you will see on many, many, many creatine products on the back, it's going to say there is a loading phase to take 20 grams every day for the first seven days, maybe even two weeks. Then hit a maintenance dose of around five grams a day for a week or so. Then stop taking it. Wait a week or two. Take another loading dose, another 20 grams a day. They have you taking way more than you need because they want you to use their product and take your money. I highly recommend skipping the loading phase. There's no reason to do it. Start at a maintenance phase of three to five grams a day and continue doing that. You'll be saturated in about a month. They're gonna tell you you need to get saturated with 20 grams a day immediately. Just ignore that. Again, they're trying to get your money. As far as cycling creatine goes, there's no need to cycle creatine unless you have a strict weigh-in, like you're a boxer, a fighter, a wrestler, something like that, and you need to make weight for something, and you don't wanna hold that water which I'm going to get to again, water retention, everything like that, but maybe, you know, a month, six weeks out, you could stop taking it to make your way in and then get back on it. Side effects of creatine, practically zero. Actually, research doesn't show any negative effects of creatine. So, safe to say, if you want to take it, go ahead and take it, because there are many, many, many benefits of creatine. You have improved performance, you have increased strength and increased power, you have longer and larger work volume, you're increasing your strength, your muscular endurance, your hydration levels, your anaerobic power, your performance, the list goes on and on. It even goes as far as improving functions like associated with neuromuscular diseases. So I would say it's pretty safe and effective and beneficial to take. Creatine does not cause cramping and water retention and impair kidney function and bloating and all that. I'm sure you have heard. Creatine, you feel bloated when you take it or it causes bloating or water retention. Well, if you feel bloating from creatine, you might be taking either a really, really crappy low-grade creatine 
or one that is mixed with a sugar product such as dextrose, like 50 grams of dextrose and 5 grams of creatine, something like Celtec, which is purely sugar, and then there's creatine in that. If that's your primary source of creatine, yeah, you might get some bloating because of all the sugar that you're taking in with it. So, no, it does not cause water retention or bloating. The water that comes from the creatine it's, is being drawn into your muscle cells. It's intracellular. It is not subcutaneous, which is underneath your skin. Like when you take in an abundance of sodium, uh, way above your normal sodium intake, and your vascular, and the vascularity goes away, that is water retention under your skin that you could sweat out. Creatine water is going into the actual muscle cell, so it's not giving you a bloated or soft look. So if you're on a cut, if you're trying to get ripped for summer, Creatine is not going to stop you from doing that. It is safe to take on a cut or if you're trying to lose weight. It is going to help increase strength and muscular endurance and all that good stuff. So yes, you can take it even if you're trying to cut or lose weight. When to take it, what to take it with. Whenever you want, with whatever you want. I, I got a couple of messages actually today and yesterday saying, can I take it with milk? Can I take it in my whey protein shake post-workout? Can I take it with water, juice, coffee at night? Yes, 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 and yes. Take it however you want with whatever you want. You're not going to damage the creatine. People think that if you take it with juice, the acid from the juice is going to react with the creatine and make you not absorb it or kill the effects of it. Well, I think we're forgetting that our stomach has pretty strong acids in there. So once that creatine hits there, it's reacting with acid either way. So yes, it's safe to take with whatever you want, whenever you want, just take it. And that pretty much sums up creatine. I'm gonna throw some, uh, a post-it note on the board somewhere when I edit the video, giving you kind of cliff notes, just a reminder of what I talked about in the video and also in the description below. I will obviously include all the information that I talked about in the video. I hope this video helped some of you out. I know some of this information was pretty basic and some of you may have already known everything I just said, so I apologize for that, but for the beginners, I hope I answered some of your questions. If I left something out, please message me or start a discussion in the comment section below and we'll talk about it. Again, the most researched supplement out there, so do some research on your own if you need to find out a little bit more. There's plenty of it out there and that sums up creatine. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your support and I appreciate all of you. So give me a thumbs up if this video helped a little bit or a lot of bit or just give me a thumbs up anyway because I appreciate that. Share it, like it, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Join the Fusaro Fitness Facebook page where I'm always posting videos and pictures of meals and information and tips and advice and stuff like that. So that's about it. Until next time, it's Maddie Fusaro with Fusaro Fitness signing out. See you later. Bye.